Okay, so I typically do like a big, big thing for Super Bowl Sunday. I honestly forgot it was Super Bowl Sunday until yesterday. So I'm doing what we can come up with on the top of my head. I have plans to do, yeah, for 49ers? Yep. Woo! Um, I typically do like, or I typically, I wanted to do twice baked potatoes. Um, I like to do the meatballs and all of that. But this is what we have, and this is, everybody's really excited because I pulled out the chicken nuggets that we got from Costco, and um, another, this is like a really, like a serving bowl. One of these has already been snacked on and eaten. I made the scallop potatoes from the food pantry. I cut up some vegetables. I did spend $20 today getting, um like Super Bowl foods um, and what that means is I got uh, root beer I bought um, what did we buy we bought root beer we bought ice cream we bought oh man what did we buy anyway it's it's my daughter made like um, peanut butter balls that you dip in like chocolate and all that so this is what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to have like a separate category for Super Bowl foods because um, I have to say that my um, brother sent me some money so we could do this. So it's kind of in, I'm trying to think of how I want to, how am I trying, what am I trying to say? Um, I could have made it work without it, but it was really nice to have it because mainly our dinner here is uh, stuff like food pantry, vegetables, um, the chicken nuggets is um, uh, from um, Costco and it's three dollars a pound. I think I used way more than I would typically do for a meal just to kind of again have a treat going on here. So anyway and if people are still hungry there are leftovers in the fridge that they could have. Um, so we have the root beer because we're going to do root beer floats after dinner, like I said, my daughter made like these peanut butter truffles that she dipped in chocolate. Um, we have, what else did she make? She made something else and I can't remember what, but anyway, okay, enough chit chatting and all that. Uh, go 49ers and I'll see you in the next video. All right, for breakfast this morning, I have a package of the zucchini I bought from Aldi, all chopped up and sautéed and cooked in some of uh, the grease from the hamburgers and two fried eggs. I used to eat this every day for breakfast, especially when pregnant. Um, very filling, really delicious. Um, price is approximately $5, so $1.69 for a dozen eggs. We have three left because not everybody wanted to eat this morning. Super Bowl hangover. <laughs> And, um, I don't know how much the zucchini was. Um, if I can find my receipt and do it, but I'm going to estimate that this whole meal cost us, um, approximately $5. And not everybody's finishing either. So this is tomato. What? This is tomato powder that I made. This is kind of what started everything for the dehydrating journey. Um... When I was getting a ton of tomatoes, I asked my mom to ask my grandma, who's living with them now, what I could do with all these tomatoes besides just canning them because I had so many on the shelves. And my grandma said, well, just dehydrate them and, um, you know, turn them into that way. Well, I didn't have a dehydrator and the oven was not working due to the um, humidity that was going on. So my grandma sent me a dehydrator and I was able to take all of these tomatoes and turn it into tomato powder. And then with this I can break it up. It got some moisture in it. Um, that was my mistake. That was me holding it over a hot steamy pan and going like this and then trapping that steam in there. But anyway, um, 
just kind of pulverizing some of that and then to make the paste that I need for dinner tonight. You can add water and make the paste. I'm actually going to add some of this hot cold sauce or cold hot sauce or something like that as my uh, friend calls it. Um, it's a hot sauce but it's not that hot. So I'm just going to add it to this and make a tomato paste out of it. It's more, it's more liquidy but it's going to do the job that I need for this recipe. Okay, this is dinner. This is Rachel Ray's um, lentil soup with sausage and kale. So this is not going to be everybody's favorite cup of tea. But it's what's for dinner tonight. And I know it's going to give us several meals. Because like everybody else is not exactly our favorite either. Um, but in here in terms of food, there is one roll of tur ground turkey from Aldi. There's an onion that I bought in here, and bouillon, um, chicken bouillon that I used to make the broth. Um, everything else is food pantry items. So anyway, that's what we're going to have for dinner. And I'm just going to heat up last night's soup for lunch today. <coughs> Easy as pie. And tonight, another sun made dinner. This is what we have left. This is another one of those containers of beef from Costco and the taco mix from the food pantry. We've got a can of olives, cheese, avocado, and lettuce. Alright, so one five pound bag is going to make enough. Uh, potatoes for soup for lunch today. It is um, a beautiful snowy day and I thought potato soup would just hit the spot right now. So in the pan I did onion and garlic and celery. I used the last ends of the celery so there's like more of the leaves on it. And I sauteed it for a few minutes and then we added all of the potatoes. We peeled them because a lot of them have uh, spots on them and I wanted to make sure that you know they were good all the way through so I had to throw out some potatoes but I wouldn't have known that if I hadn't peeled them so that's why I peel the potatoes that I get from the food pantry and then um, I added about two quarts of water and some chicken bouillon and some dill weed and just letting this cook until the potatoes are soft and then I'll use my immersion blender to kind of creamy it up. I like bits of uh, potato chunks in my soup so I won't do it all the way. And then um, you can add some milk or whatever else you would desire. Um, I'm leaving the milk out so that my daughter can have it. Um, and then also we took two boxes from a previous food pantry and made some biscuits with it. Now, um, I'll try to leave that video link down below so you can see what I'm talking about, but we got like biscuit mixes and I thought that would go really well with um, lunch. When we're making the biscuits, I noticed that it was very wet and we ended up using so much flour. I would have had another batch, um, but we ended up just using so much flour to try to get the biscuit texture that I think I would cut the milk if you end up with one of those. I would cut the milk and just slowly incorporate it. I was also mixing with the fork and I think if I had beaters or a mixer I think that would have been a better choice in this case. So anyway that's what we're going to do for lunch. Um, the cost is relatively small. Um, I purchased the onion. Sometimes food pantries will give you onions. Um, I'm completely out. So I purchased some of my own. The celery, again, is just the end of, I just save all the celery ends and those I use specifically for soups. And um, uh, celery, I think, is like $2 now. Um, uh, maybe 50 cents. 
worth of celery if I divided what I used it up for four meals, maybe about 50 cents. Water is relatively free. I use that. If you don't pay your water bill, it's not free. Uh, if you need it free, go and grab some snow and melt it on the stove. Even then, it's not going to be free because you had to pay for the gas to uh, heat the water. But anyways, um, the chicken bullion, I buy it in bulk from Sam, so it's a big thing. So again, you're looking at pennies, so it's a very inexpensive meal here. Um, I used oat milk. No, I used almond milk for this one. Um, but yeah, so we're looking at just a few dollars here for lunch, if even that. All right, dinner tonight is um, three, four pounds of potatoes cubed and then fried in the oven. It was about 30 to 35 minutes to get them crispy like this and just constantly stirring them around. This is the chorizo and turkey meat mixture. So I have that all mixed up and then we're adding um, onion and zucchini to it. And that's what's for dinner tonight. I'm not doing very well at filming these last couple of days, but um, I did film last night and I shared with you the chorizo potato dish that we had for breakfast. I had cut up a whole bunch more potatoes. I just fried those and the kids just had fried potatoes for breakfast and they were completely content with that um, because we had company for lunch and so we had a little bit of an earlier lunch. And I made a pot of chicken soup I did it very simple um, because of the dietary restrictions um, the family is on. Um, so this we're for dinner we're gonna have what's left, and I added some spelt noodles to that. Um, in terms of cost, there were two cans or two quart jars of home canned chicken that I added to it. It was probably from food pantry that I had canned. Um, I did carrots, celery, I did purchase a fennel, that's one way to really make that broth taste good, especially when I can't add chicken bouillon or anything to it, just salt and pepper. So there, I did purchase a fennel to go in here and that was $2.99. Um, the, the carrots and the celery, I'm not really sure. I only have a little bit of soup left, so I didn't add a whole lot of the spelt noodles, maybe like a handful, so I have enough for another meal so that's not I'm not even going to count that um, and it's just water it's a very very cheap meal here and we're going to do that for dinner with some of the uh, mobile food pantry um, baguettes and then if that's not enough which I, I don't know it just depends on who's wanting some dinner um, who didn't fill up enough at lunchtime um, there is still a whole pan of another portion size of potato soup in the fridge. Potato soup. I said potato, right? Not tomato. Potato. And so we're going to eat that, and that's going to wrap it up for Saturday. Um, I'm in the middle of making a huge batch of waffles. I've shown you um, me doing this in another video. We have church tomorrow. I'm trying to get ahead of the game for tonight. Um, and I probably will not be filming um, anything tomorrow, but that reminds me to get something out for dinner tomorrow. Um, and I probably will not be filming, but I'm just going to throw a roast in the crock pot. I have a recipe that I really love. I'm just going to throw roast in the crock pot. This was less than $20. It's, it says $18 on it, but I had another um, coupon deal that went on top of it. So it was $15 for two roasts. Breakfast is going to be about $8. That's going to take us up to $22, which is over the $20 that I want. I would say, but I'm going to have leftovers. Actually, I'm not going to do that because then I have to figure out leftovers on another day and how much that costs. So $22 and I'll have leftovers for another day. Um, the roast I really like has coffee in it. So if you're a big coffee fan like I am, and on Instagram, you know how much I like coffee. My Instagram handle's in the description box below. Um, I make it with coffee, and it's, oh, it's so good. So I'm going to make that. 
can put in the roast before I head out the door. And then when I get home, mm, it's going to be so good. This is not going to, I'm going to put this in the fridge. I usually leave this out on the countertop and by early morning it's so cold. Um, mostly defrosted. I can't do that in the uh, summertime, but I can do that in the wintertime. Because we don't turn the heater on at night. But I'm actually not. I'm going to put this in my fridge. Which is not something I do. So it's going to be still really frozen by morning but I can cook it on low all day and then it won't be overcooked. 